Hello, good morning, and Merry Christmas. So I decided to do a small tutorial today for macaroni and cheese. The last time I did this tutorial, I was making a huge pan, and I was making it for my father to sell. Um, and um, I don't know what happened to the video. I think it either got deleted or it wasn't in part... Um, thorough enough to explain how to do it so I decided to come back and do a video so here I have a pound um, of elbow noodles that has been al dente boiled not all the way soft and in a pan and then I have in this bowl some uh, about a, two teaspoons of Goya adobo one packet of this about a teaspoon of ground black pepper a teaspoon of garlic powder I have some butter here which I'm going to put on afterwards and I have some Cheddar Jack Monterey and mild cheddar cheese, white cheddar. I'm back again. So here in this bowl I have combined the cheeses, three out of the four bags of cheeses that I'm going to use. The pan that I'm making is small so I'm only using four bags of cheese. Um, if you're making a larger pan then you double the amount of cheese so it will be eight bags. Um, in the bowl though the seasonings that I had already mentioned and um, I had two eggs that I had beaten and I put in here um, I put in this sazon, the adobo, the garlic powder and the ground black pepper and I mixed that up and then I went ahead and I also added in about a cup of um, sour cream and I added a cup of regular white milk and I, I poured a can of um, evaporated milk in this so that's what's in this mixture right here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold pour this over the noodles and fold it in and I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's in the pan and how it before it goes into the oven all right so here I've poured the cheese milk mixture over the noodle and I'm just go ahead and folding it into the noodle making sure every noodle is covered with cheese and I'm going to do it pretty quickly because these videos are very short um and once I've folded in all the noodles with cheese, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add on the top shredded cheese. So I'm going to add the last bag of cheese across the top. And then when I'm finished adding the cheese across the top, I'm going to cut pieces of butter on the top and stick it in a oven 350 degrees for about 45 minutes uncovered stay tuned okay so here I'm back this is what the macaroni and cheese should look like before it goes into the oven and you're gonna take another can of carnation evaporated milk or any kind of evaporated milk that you have and just pour it across the top of the pan of macaroni and cheese and then I'm gonna put this in the oven uncovered for about 45 minutes or until all the milk has um, dried out and the cheese and the milk has emulsified together um, and it has a nice golden crust at the top so uh, I'll come back and show you when it's finished stay tuned 